Hey guys, Jay Boone down here from Emerald City Guitars for yet another pick of the day. And today I have a really cool bass, one of my favorites. This is a 1999 limited edition Gibson Thunderbird bass. I love that black finish, man. So cool. So I got this from a local guy, he's a buddy of mine, and he took it over to Northwest legend Mike Wall, who you bass players I'm sure are well aware of. Mike builds amazing basses. He's a, a fine repair guy, luthier, guitar tech, just been around for years and, and well respected and well known in that world. So he went in and had Mike install two of the Lull Thunderbird pickups in here as well as a bridge and tailpiece from Mike Lull. So really heavy duty upgrades there, which really make this a special base. In the case pocket here, you have all the original hardware electronics from Gibson. If you did want to return it back to factory specs, which I sure wouldn't do. This just is way better than what Gibson put on this base. Now he also had these lightweight hip shot tuners put on here, really a high grade tuning machine, but much lighter than the standard ones Gibson put on there. So you don't get that real top heavy feel on this bass. A lot of T-Bird basses will nose up just like that. This is really well balanced. So this bass has an ebony fretboard, and of course the dot inlays as you can see. And any of you guys have played around with Thunderbird basses, it's a really narrow neck at the nut, and just a really streamlined, fast neck with lots of access to the very upper notes on this guy. The limited edition, obviously, I'm sure is this black finish on this. We don't see a lot of black finish T-Birds, and this one just looks killer with that white guard, like the tuxedo look. Wonderful piece. So you have obviously two pickups with a volume for each pickup and a master tone control. So of course it comes with the original case. You can see a form-fitted Thunderbird case, a big case, you guys. I'm not kidding you. Today I'm gonna plug this into this 70s Ampeg B25B, which is about a 55 watt RMS tube amp, and we're running it through its little matching 115 cab. So a real classic Ampeg sound here with this T-Bird bass with the uh, Michael upgrade. Should sound pretty darn good. So without further delay, I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna play a little bit of bass for you and let you hear how this thing sounds.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a limited edition 1999 Gibson Thunderbird bass with all the cool Mike Lull upgrades running through a 70s Ampeg B25B and 115 cab. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.